In this Inkscape tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw this Pac-Man wallpaper, reliving the retro years again. Now we'll need the tools Control, Shift and A for the alignment, and Control, Shift and F for the fill and stroke. So I'll start with the Pac-Man shape first. So that's a circle. And we'll start in that corner, and I don't know, should we have about that size, I think. I want to be able to get five of them that size shape on the screen, so let's take the mouse tool, duplicate it with Control D, and then we'll see if it fits on the screen five times. Mm, it's going to be a bit tight, that isn't it, I think? Oh yeah, it's too tight. Uh, okay. Let's resize those a little bit. So I've highlighted them all, and just kind of holding down Control and drag them down a bit. So let's take the alignment. This is just a test of the size first. So it's lined equally, which is wrong, but yeah, I can see that working. That'll be there. That'll be in a little bit, and those would be aligned like that. So let's get rid of those three and sort out the Pac-Man shape. So click on the circle tool and just want to drag that up there and that down about there. And you notice depending which side you hold the mouse depends which side the line is going to appear. It's in the middle of the pie shape. Now for this shape, I just want to narrow it down slightly like that and select it and go path, object path. You might be thinking, what am I doing? Why am I doing it this way? Simple, I want to get the ghosts about the same size as Pac-Man. Now let's make this a sort of flat edge at the bottom. So let's double click the line there. And I want to sort of make that like a straight line there. Hold down control, get rid of the handles on the node. It makes it a straight line. And you can see with the template there, whether you're going to make a straight edge or not. So let's get rid of that handle there. Get rid of that handle there. And it's gone messed up. No. Let's double click, add another node. Uh, something like that to start with. Hold down control, get rid of those nodes. Let's get rid of that node there because it's causing a, causing a mess. So basically, about something like that. I still think it looks a little wide. Let's narrow it down a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I think so. Next. Depends how confident you are now about getting things aligned in Inkscape. I'll show a kind of simpler way. We'll draw a line across, just like a template line. About that sort of height. And then get the Add Nodes tool. We're going to add quite a few nodes at this point. Double click, we add one there. Now to move this node, so I'm going to hold down Control to keep it in a 90 degree line. So that moves there. Another one somewhere there. Another one that'll be up there. Lining up to that line. Another one that'll be doesn't really matter about the position left and right. That'll come in a moment. So what I want is the number of nodes added to sort of make the bottom of the ghost. Now hold down shift, highlight all of these nodes. So select all of those. And then go to the alignment tool. Distribute selected nodes horizontally. That is what we want. Then go up here and then select the Make Selected Node Smooth. There we go. It's kind of like what I want. Then select that corner node and I want to make that a smooth node. Then just get rid of that handle there. So hold down Control, select it, and hold down Control and get rid of that one. Same sort of thing for over here. That smooth and get rid of that. 
Right, let's duplicate them. Control D, drag that along a bit. Control D, drag it again. Holding down Control when I drag them across because I want to keep them all on a 90 degree line. So now let's get the start and end ones in the position where I want them. Yep, something like that. Highlight them all. Make horizontal gaps between objects equal. Now to sort out the colours. So up to the stroke paint. So Pac-Man should be a yellow colour. I always find it difficult to find the yellow. Do you know what's easy? That's the yellow I'm after. So I'm going to take that and I go over to the fill, take a copy of that, turn the fill off, back to the stroke, paste that value there. Then the order I'm going for, blinky. Let's make him slightly lighter red. Pinky. Magenta colour. Inky. So that's a cyan colour. Clyde, which is the orange, which I seem to have had pre selected. Rather useful. And I notice that the stroke style is off, so I'll highlight them all again. Put that to stroke 4 and 4. That's what I'm aiming for. Now highlight them all. Press Ctrl D. Now I'm sorry there's no easy way of doing this part. I'll have to do it one at a time. So, stroke size 15. Blur 6.1. And select it and press page down. That gives me the one that without a blur, and I change that to a blur size of one. Then it's just a case of repeat. So I'll cut this part of the video out. And then finally, select the rectangle tool and just want to put background over it. So just slightly outside the page template. Okay, I seem to have got rounded rectangle corners on. So make the corners sharp. Turn the stroke off and select a fill. Something slightly off black, I'm going for. Okay, press end. One Pac Man wallpaper. So, thanks for watching. See you all later.